Looks like I'm in a Breaking Bad laboratory. Me not a mess with no bloody snake, old yeah, man. Half of us in the family from 20 of us. Don't be leading on people's are, car. Are clear, <laughs> and some of them are dark. I yeah. took, I took all like my sister and my mother. Yeah. But I, I, I was fighting very hard to go to college. Yeah. And I couldn't make it. Couldn't. You never make it to high school. I come out of standard six, but in Corazal, if you don't learn different language because you don't want. Yeah. English, Spanish, American, Korean, Chinese. Yeah. Great for them. Yeah. Good. Ah, uh, good. But you've been learning Garifuna. You never learned Garifuna. I like I like Garifuna first. Oh, homie, my birthday at Garifuna day, and I can't talk Garifuna. Musa. I don't know nothing that's Garifuna. Not, that's not Garifuna. What is it? Komusa. It does not Garifuna. <laughs> I, I know a few words got, in Garifuna. I got two fancy ones. You don't think I know Garifuna Ereba, but I don't know what that means. Okay, <laughs> we better go because I yeah. need to go make a video. Yeah. I need okay. a dollar. You need a dollar? Yes. Do we have a Can dollar? You have a dollar? I think I got a dollar. Here, put I'm this stranded. up there. I got a dollar in my pocket. I'm stranded. You're stranded, stranded, and the stranded. Say, and my, my nephew give me a, a sub jail. That's what he gave me. Mother ass, the next man come back. I I remember you. Yeah, you, 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 the uniform. In the long term. What's your uniform? I just that. I remember you. I make I make a video with you. Thank you. See you. I make a video with you. Yeah, man. I make a video with Hola for you. Huh? Okay. You know. Hey, 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 give me a little bomb there. Give me a little bomb there. Yeah. Mr. Tony. Yeah, Tony Holtz. Sorry. Okay. Okay, dude. I gotta go. That's why. You need you need a little dollar. That's how I give you a little dollar. I never met you. That's one of his friends, see? That's one of his friends. You too? She know me. She she gave you fifty. Yeah, she know me some Louis Lopez. Remember you you made a hangout you made you made a hangout with Noel. Yeah man. About three years ago, Noel Hall. Do you remember the Lee Bali with that? Hey what's up with you yet? I got you on YouTube. Bye. Take care, dude. You got Douglas, right? Douglas, you got it. Yeah, you got it, you got it. All right, take care, man. That's life in Belize, guys. That's life in Belize. A lot of these guys are really down and out but I went to school with them so they all know me yeah they all know me luckily and they only ask for like a, a dollar or sometimes two so I'm, I can't tell them no I give them the I give them their buck or two Life is rough for some people. Good morning guys from Corzal Town, Belize. We went for our usual chicken tacos at Taqueria Noemi at the market. That's something we do almost every morning. We just love those tacos. Can never get enough of them. So we just had a fill. I have $8 now. Where you Maria usually eats $5. But I'm getting greedier. I eat eight. And we are off now. We're gonna head to Libertad Village. We wanna see if there's something going on there for Garifuna Day because we wanted to go down south because of all the flooding we won't be going so we're gonna see if they have something in Libertad here we are downtown Corzal at the market the market area the family supermarket 
Hey guys, check out my 360 degree photos on my Facebook. I usually put one on the regular Facebook, Doug P Vlogs, and then I have one with only 360 degree photos called Doug P Vlogs 360. Check that out. It's busy out here because today is the last day of work. Tomorrow is a holiday. Tomorrow is Garifuna Day. Hi, you guys. Hi. Hi. Tomorrow is Garifuna Day. So everything going to be shut down. So we're going to head out to Libertad Village and see if they got anything happening. The guy over there, he says, Que bonito su cabello. Are you from here? I said, yes, of course. He says, I've never seen a hair like yours. He says, looks like a whole bunch of, you know, like pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> like pigeons? Palomas. Your hair looks like pigeons? Palomas, like a whole bunch of pigeons. Pigeon hair, that's a new one. <laughs> Guys, so we're going to head to Libertad. See you in a little bit. On the road. Traffic is heavy here in Corazal Town because people are getting all the shopping done and everything before the holidays. Plus, you know, Christmas is right down the road. So that keeps makes things busy. This here is the Central Park. I took a picture here of the Central Park and the Corzal Town Hall. Check it out on my 360 photo collection on Facebook. You always gotta be careful here. With the little kids on bikes. And it don't help that you have a camera with you. Yeah, it helps. That way I can see them. If they were at fault or I'm at fault. Yeah, okay, you know kids are a little dumb, right? They don't care. They just ride. I myself got run over twice on a bicycle, so I know how that goes. Gonna show you guys the beautiful waterfront here in Corzo. been on it I heard it's pretty cool let's go see what it's like guys this here is the Chaktimal Park this is pretty new I think there's still some work ongoing looks like they're gonna have food stalls here 
little seating areas being built very pretty it's gonna be nice and this is what I want to check oh. <coughs> I heard they built a swing bridge a suspension bridge so let's go check it out Corza's first suspension bridge oh wow this is very well built quite stable it's over this little lagoon area that's pretty with the water lilies look at that that's mangroves this is all mangroves here all that mangroves they got solar lighting see there over there too solar lighting Quite nice. Quite, quite nice. Yeah, Corza. Getting fancier all the time. They have a sign there that says no fishing, no jumping on the bridge, and no running on the bridge. Yeah, you don't want to be jumping or running on this thing because you know it's held up by cables and all that. And, you know, it'll break. And you don't want to break nothing. We want to keep Corza beautiful. This is awesome. Wow. This is a great addition. I like it. Great addition to town. Here you can see the park. All the events out here. It's really windy. I hope the wind doesn't affect the sound of the video. I have a wireless mic for this but um, I did a couple videos with the wireless mic and then um, my audio wasn't syncing with my mouth so I quit using it. I'm gonna have to try it out again and see how it goes. Look at this, solar powered lights all along here. That is nice, and the mangrove jungle. Look at the sea. The uh, sea looks angry. Look at that, how it's splashing. Quite nice. So let's head off to Libertad Village and see if there's going to be anything there for Garifuna Day. I really would like to see a little bit of celebrating somewhere. Somebody's got to have it. We are here this year is behind these trees is the Maya Hotel. I think that's the restaurant there. Rafael Chavez's house. Got some people here selling stuff. Let me go take a look. See what they're selling. I think it's used used clothes. Man, this park is looking good. Look at it. It's looking good. This is the highway going to Belize City that way. This way goes to Corzal Town and to Mexico. 
I had to sell used clothes here. Microwaves. I don't know what that is. Microwaves, carvings. Like a machete made out of Cerakote or rosewood. Pretty stuff. Hello, you got some nice stuff? Yeah, yeah. I see carving that you make them? Me and my dad, yeah. Yeah, you and your dad? Wow. What kind of wood? The rosewood, true? No, just no? Uh, granadillo. Oh, granadillo. Yeah. Granadillo and Cerakote. And Cerakote? Oh, yeah. I thought Cerakote were really hard to get. Well, you have to know the tree, yeah. Yeah. Because you can go in the bush and all of them look the same. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice, very nice. What's in the bottles here? What's this? So that's local wine. Oh, local wine. Oh, yeah. like cashew wine? No, that one is sorrel. Sorrel? I have cassava. Yeah, mostly and right now is sorrel and cassava. Mostly sorrel and cassava. Yeah. All right. You want a little sample? Give me a little sample, yeah, sure. You can see what it tastes like. You got to sample the... Which one is that? This is sorrel. Sorrel? Okay. I'm gonna sample the sorrel wine. Just need a little bit, need a little bit, little yeah. cover. Who is? <sighs> wow, that's nice. Nothing added. That is nice. That tastes like the wine that the priest gives you in church. Real? Yeah. At the Catholic Church, they says they are very nice. Yeah, wow. Dad made it right you and your dad make it? Yeah, in Sun Hill. Wow, neat, 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 neat. I uh, like it, yeah. You're gonna be on you, my YouTube channel, Doug P Vlogs. Okay. So make sure you check it out. In a couple of days, yeah, I'm editing a long one I made yesterday. Okay, okay. In a couple of days, and yeah, come out. That's good, you can. Yeah, so what's your name? Albert. Albert? Yeah. So you live in Sun Hill and you come up here selling? No, my dad lives in Sun Hill. Oh, yeah. In oh, you live in Corzon? Yeah. And then you guys work together and sell stuff. Alright, alright. Good idea. Alright, well nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Guys, that wine was delicious. It actually did taste like the wine that you get for Sunday Mass in the Catholic Church. I remember that as a kid. You know, I, uh, fuck, I used to love that wine. I used to love that wine. <laughs> I was a drunk even as a kid, I loved the wine. <laughs> Get over the road here. This is the Northern Highway. Okay, right after this truck here. So guys, let's go to Libertad. All right, we are now entering Libertad Village. Libertad Village got famous because there used to be a sugarcane factory here which is now long closed down and the village kind of, it, it hurt the village big time so the sign there, welcome to Libertad yeah it helped hurt the village a lot because a lot of people used to work at the factory and now they're you know out of job so there's supposed to be Garifunas living here and they used to do celebrations for Garifuna Day. I don't know if that's still true. So I'm here to find out. See if I can find out. I don't know where to find out. I don't know where to ask. I see somebody I might know and I I'll stop and ask him. And this is the village here. I've been distracted. I'm going to go explore something that many of you have never been to. But I'm taking along my machete. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Where are you, Maria's machete? You left your one at home. Take this along. I'm going to go explore 
inside the abandoned Libertad sugar factory. It's been abandoned for many years. This is where all the sugar used to be produced here and in in Orange Rock. Whoa! Look the old building when you check in. I have a machete along in case there's snakes or, or who knows what could be in here. This is crazy. Wow. Totally, totally deserted. I don't know how far I'm gonna get around in here. You know? Cause the bush is pretty high. Hard to crawl around. Looks like they have cell phone antennas up there. I guess they rent that out to the phone company. What are these buildings here? Let's go take a look. Yeah, they keep this area here clean. I guess because of the cell phone towers. Gotta be very careful where I walk here. like it used to be the offices or something. Something like that. Let's go explore some more, see what else we can find. I've been in that building, that is the, that's where they used to keep the sugar. They used to have piles and piles of sugar in there, raw sugar, unrefined. Look at those old abandoned buildings falling apart. I don't even know where I can walk around here. This is pretty wild. Look at these big buildings just turning into nothing. can't even go in there because they could cave in on you. Yeah, they used to have the big sugar, the big um, sugar crushing plant and sugar making factory here. You take the raw sugar cane and then they squash it and make sugar. Oh, the warehouse place there is open maybe I can get in and take a look I've really got to be careful with snakes here very careful with snakes or holes I could fall into awesome Smells. Oh, it's the molasses. Wow. You could still smell the molasses. This is awesome. This whole building here was full of sugar. It looks to me like they had cows in here. This cow dung on the floor. But here they used to have these giant, 
giant piles of sugar, mountains, huge mountains of sugar. Wow, now just abandoned building. Guys, I'm going to take a 360 degree photo right here, right now. Look for it up here, Doug P. Vlogs 360 on Facebook. Wow. <coughs> what a find. What is this? It does not open. Almost looks like it might have been a safe. Let's see if I can stick the camera in. No, I can't get it in. I'll just dirty the lens. I can't make out what it is. It looks like it might have been a safe. Let me go explore some more. This is incredibly dangerous. You don't know what's crawling around here, or what's crawling around in high grass. something I gotta see. I wonder what building that is. Wow. What is this? I don't know. It smells funny around here. Maybe I can go up there. And I can at least peek in. See what I can see here. Oh man, it stinks. This is what's in here, see? Phosphatisante. I don't know what it is, but it sure stinks. Look, they got old log books. Look, all the old ledgers. Wow, what a bad smell in here. Guys, I gotta take another. I gotta take another 360 degree photo. I'm gonna put it. Right up there, check it out on Doug P Vlogs 360. I'll put one or two photos on um, my Doug P Vlogs Facebook for this YouTube channel. So check out the photo right now. Let me keep on crawling around here. I'd love to get in there. Whoa. I'd love to get in there. But um, it seems all sealed up. that building there that's the where the sugar used to be the raw sugar here's a door I wonder if it's open it is open Wow. This, I guess, was the storage room for the machinery. Is that a belt or a snake? That's no, a belt. It's one of these belts here. Looked like a giant snake on the ground. Yeah, this was the storage room where they kept all the parts. Look, all the parts to keep the sugar factory running. Look, the bolts are rusted solid. Look, 
bearings. Wow. What is all this stuff? Shit, it's scary. It's scary. This was where they had all the parts. Everything just abandoned, man. Time cards, look. People who used to work here. Is there a name? Can I see a name on it? Oh, it's all the time cards from all the workers because there were hundreds Hundreds of workers here. Most of the stuff has been looted. It's crazy. Crazy. What? Look, oil filters. Brand new oil filters. What is this? Do you know? Gaskets. Yeah, because they had so many machinery here and vehicles and all kinds of stuff. So this was I guess the machine shop area. What are those bricks? some kind of bricks some writing on it let's see if I can see what it says Bigelow Empire what is this for do you know Bigelow more bricks there This guys is pretty wild find. Okay, it says no smoking. Pretty pretty wild find. I'm glad there's nobody in here. The glass pipes. I guess for the laboratory. Or some machine. Boxes are empty. I guess people have been in here and took out anything of value. They left little things like these because they didn't have use for it, you know. Look here, they got log books. See if I can see anything on the log book. Got the writing. July first, nineteen eighty four. June twenty ninth, nineteen eighty four.
all the parts they needed. Look, they even still have bulbs in here. All the parts they needed to keep this sugar factory running. This is just insane. Insane. That looks like all electrical stuff. Looks like they had more things upstairs. That floor is long gone. Here they have tiles on the floor, so probably was the office. Look, An old computer monitor. <laughs> Here they have a catalog. Look, so this is all the laboratory stuff, see? Convection ovens, magnetic stirs, temperature control, bottles, beakers, gear pumps. What an amazing find. Look at old, old cash register. Somebody is drinking Caribbean rum. <laughs> King Caribbean rum. What is this? This is something else. All the files. These are empty. All the files have stayed behind. Looks stuff like it is brand new. I don't know what it is. Smith Mill. Hot. H and F coupling. You guys know something about this? Let me know, guys. I don't know. Kind of dark in here. I hope you can see. Rubber. Look, this still has the plastic on it. Plastic rotted away. Guys, this is the old, oh, the old storage place. What would you call this? Like the hardware store, or I don't know what. That stuff over there smells really bad. Those blue barrels, they stink really bad. Well. I'm going to leave this the way I found it. I will close the door again. Damn, that smell. That smell in there is bad. It was not locked, it was just like that. That's the way I'll leave it. Where else can I go here? There's something down there. Let me go take a look. There's an air conditioner there. It is scary to walk around here, guys. I gotta admit that. 
I have to admit that. I took my sunglasses off so I could see even a little better. Because look at the sky, it's dark and overcast. Some more buildings back there, I'm not going to those. It looks like that's the fuel tanks for the sugar barge. See, I was in that building there. Oh yeah, that looks like that was the fuel compound. Fuel tanks. Probably where they had the diesel for the tugboats. Look at that. What was that? Anybody know what that was? I know people from Corozal Town used to work here. I know a lot of you people from Corzal Town used to work here. Let me know what some of these buildings are. Like that one. What was that tower? What was that? I wonder what that building back there is. It's just a empty building now, there's nothing there. And that grass is too high, I'm like, I'm not going through there. Me not a mess with no bloody snake, oh dear man. What? Me no a uh, mess with no big time snake. Got me machete right there, but I still do worry about that. Guys, I have a machete here for chopping the bush or if a wild animal attacks me or something damn the grass is high figure if I make some noise the snakes or anything they'll take off interested in going there See what I can find there. Guys, what was that building? What was that building? What was that building? What was that building? Because a lot of people from Corzal Town and and the surrounding villages worked here. Okay, this was one of the major employers in the Corzal area. So you guys, some of you guys will know what this was. What is this over here? Some kind of a moat? I don't know. building here what was that you know as a child I came here to this Libertad sugar factory a couple of times when it was operating I mean it was loud there were huge machines what is this cane Quality. Oh. Cane quality laboratory. 
So this must be where they brought the sugar cane to check the sweetness. Oh, look at the ceilings caved in. Look at old welding helmet. There's this swampy area, like a moat all around. Oh man! This is like the laboratory. Holy, let me put my machete down here. Whoa! Look at this. Wow, that's like Breaking Bad. It looks like I'm in a Breaking Bad laboratory. Holy crap, look. Hydrochloric acid. This bottle is still full. Oh man. That's some serious poisons they have here. Had the glove to work with it. Oops. I just stepped on the glass and it smashed under my foot. Look, test tubes. Beakers. This is nuts. All the Pyrex stuff. Look at these things. Wow. That is crazy. Let me get out of here. What an interesting find this is. It's a little spooky, a little scary. I'm mainly worried about snakes. There's not a wild animal but snakes. I'm worried about snakes. I'm worried about wasps. Step in none of that water. Now yeah, I filled it with water. I'll rot it out. I think I gotta go around that way to get out again. <laughs> Where are you, Maria? I could see the van from here. She's there waiting for me. Find what I find, what I find. Oh, fuck. What is that? Some glass broke. Shit, that scared me. Ah, ah I, I stepped on some glass and it popped. Holy crap. That scared me. Shit. <laughs> wow. Old Libertad Sugar Factory. I think they used to call it Pembroke Hall at one time. I'm not sure. Please correct me in the comments. But I think that's what they used to call it, Pembroke Hall. But everybody just got lazy and called it Libertad Sugar Factory. A lot of people from the Corza district probably from also the Orange Rock district used to work here so that was the machine shop in there I guess or the stores what they call the stores what do they call this tell me what do they call this here 
probably the stores it looks like they had all the parts in there I gotta check my camera every now and then I gotta poke it like that make sure that um, it didn't go dead the battery <sighs> wow, wow, wow. let's keep on going I want to get see if I can get over to the buildings where the bosses used to live let's go see I don't know if there's a way through there see they lived in those houses back there I don't know if there's a way there they were once the fancy houses in this area where the rich bosses of the sugar factory used to live I don't know if I can get through there this looks sketchy it's a lot of bush it's a lot of bush I make some noise. With the machete. And then try to see if I can hear slithering snakes. Because I don't wanna, I don't wanna meet a snake, man. I don't think I'll be able to get in there. People come here peeling coconuts, how to get coconuts off the tree. I don't think I'll be able to get to that house. That's just too overgrown. Too overgrown in jungle. Yeah. These are once beautiful. Beautiful homes. I remember. Oh no, this is getting really deep here. The grass. No, I'm not going further through this grass. It's just too deep. Oh, it's so tempting. So tempting to try to get there. It's gonna happen. Those zincs flying in the wind and they bang. Oh, scares the shit out of me. Guys, no, I can't get any close to that building. Grass is just too high. Thicker and thicker and I'm not going in there. I wouldn't be
be surprised I got some people living in that building too. Would not surprise me at all. I don't see a way of getting there. Whoa. Oh yeah. I need to remember be careful don't step on the board or the nail. That could happen too. Now there's no way to get to that. That bush is just too high. Way too high. I like a little adventure but you know I don't want to be stupid either get myself hurt here at the old Libertad sugar factory okay, I came that side I came between those two trees there man the vines are tangled around my feet big time Yeah, I'm not going to get in there, guys. That's just too much jungle there. Too much jungle. There's a lot of dry grass underneath this here, see? And that's a snake hangout. Here's a little opening, look at this. Here's a little opening, look. Okay, I'm on a road here. That makes it a little easier. Check my camera still on. Still running. It's running. Yep. Still running. Wow. I just took an awesome 360 degree photo right here at this spot. That's the link where I keep them on Facebook. I also have another Facebook right here and that has all updates to my YouTube channel. All the updates. I'm a lot closer to the houses. And a lot closer. I can see trails. I can see trails going through here. So I guess people live here, homeless people, that's what I'm thinking. This is where the rich bosses of the sugar factory here in Libertad, they used to live around here. Do you know anybody that used to live here? If you know anybody that used to live here, please. Leave me a comment. Oh, here I am. Here I am behind the house. Behind the house itself. Wow, I made it. I made it. Amazing old house. Hello. Pretty. Wow. How's the wood? Seems pretty stable. I will walk slow. Guys, I am in. I am in one of the old abandoned Libertad sugar factory houses where the bosses used to live. Look, they had a huge closet for the bathroom. Look, they had a bathtub with a handle. And it's not plastic either. Shower up there. really slow on these floors. I don't want to go through them. 
Look, there's a calendar from 2011. Police and constable schedule. Cool. This was the veranda. Look, they had a huge veranda screened in. Where they could sit after a hard day's work. Carpet. There was carpet on the floor here. Look, the roofs are gonna cave in soon. It's a little refrigerator. There's a TV. Thread slowly, my friend. Do not rush the brush. Closet. Here's another bathroom. The toilet is gone. The bathtub is still here. Metal. Metal bathtub. The other one was ceramic. Here's a bedroom. Look. Hardwood floors. This was the view from your window. Looks like that was a storage or something for the people. I bet back in the day, because the river is back there, this is all be probably all cleared out. You could see the river. Look, there's a light right there. These, these are all old British homes. Okay, oh, someone jumping. Oh, it's a lizard. <laughs> someone jumping. It's a lizard right in there. Looks like this was the kitchen. You see, the people who lived in these houses, most of them they had in. They had maids. This thing's running still, yeah. They had maids. So the kitchen was small. I don't think they did their own cooking. Let me know. Because I know somebody watching this video lived here or their relatives lived here. I know that much. They used to drink Fanta. You see the top of the bottle is black. That means they used it for mosquito fish. Yeah, I guess this was the living room. This is the, this is a nice, nice veranda. Wow. Oh, what's this here? Oh, this is the other room, okay, I just came around. See here, the tops are black. I mean, somebody's been in here. Or maybe it's from back in the day. Burning mosquito fish. It feels like this carpet. There was carpet at one time. Like right here. That's carpet. Look here. Look at that. Look at that. So I gotta be very careful. That's completely, completely rotted out on there. That's gone. Guys. You got to see how the wealthy bosses here at the Libertad Sugar Factory used to live. You got to see it. There's another house there. I'm not going into that one. I got into this one. Everything went good. Who used to live in this house? I'm sure somebody knows whose house this was. Whose house was that one? If you know, please let me know in the comments. Guys, this is great. I guess that was the gate for the people who lived here to drive in. They probably went through that gate. Wow, 
<sighs> yes. Here we go, guys. I am at the abandoned Libertad Sugar Factory here in Corozal District, in the village of Libertad. I think they used to call it Pembroke Hall back in the day. I'm not 100% sure because I, I always knew it as Libertad Sugar Factory. But I think the real name is Pembroke Hall. It looks like a vehicle goes through here now and then. Probably whoever owns this property or manages it or security or I don't know what but hey it's a lot easier getting out than getting in <laughs> getting in getting in was a bummer it was scary even here they could have snakes but it, it's a lot lower guys I'm going to take another 300 60 degree photo right here right now link up above I got two pages on Facebook it's Doug P vlogs which is I have all my YouTube updates plans travel plans new videos coming out and I have a second second Facebook page which is called Doug P vlogs 360 all I do on there nothing else is post 360 degree photos that I'm gonna take here right now. Check it out up there. I took some awesome 360 degree photos for you guys. <laughs> a little bit funny. I tried to pose a little bit to make it a little interesting. But here I am. This is the where I was in the sugar storage container area. That used to be, I was actually in there as a child, I went in there when we got a school tour of this factory. There were mountains of sugar. You wouldn't believe how much sugar was laying on the floor. And they were driving around with front end loaders, moving it from one end to the other. And crazy, crazy stuff. And the air here used to be so sweet super sweet because you know the grinding sugar the boiling the molasses sugar molasses there all that stuff and the air was so sweet that I actually got a nosebleed from it what was this building anybody know I need to go look This looks like it used to be a canteen. A canteen or something like that. Or maybe it was a place where they get food. Do you guys know? I'm sure somebody watching this video will know. This is okay, a little dangerous going underneath here. Because this building could fall at any moment. Okay. 25 belly can times four dollars equals okay this is new rum so there's people crawling around here besides me because those are new rum bottles and were not for sale back in those days. So there are people crawling around. Definitely. But what was this building, guys? Floors are not rotted. What was this building? It's caving in now, though. Look, the stairs. What did they used to sell here? Anybody know? I'm sure somebody knows. To me it looks like it was a bar or something, but I don't know if they'd have a bar 
on a sugar factory. I could see people come in here now and drink. Because those aren't old rum bottles, those are new rum bottles. But I feel like it used to be a, a bar or a canteen or something. Please, let me know, what was this? I hope you guys are enjoying this tour of the Libertad Sugar Factory, Pembroke Hall Sugar Factory. Was it called Pembroke Hall? I'll just call it Libertad Sugar Factory because I'm not 100% sure. <sighs> Very nice. A lot of old buildings falling apart. Just caving in. Wow. Let me see if I can take a thumbnail here. Whoa, just about fell in a hole. This was an incredibly interesting trip here, visiting this old abandoned sugar factory that produced sugar that was shipped to United Kingdom, probably to United States, to Canada, I don't know where all. Sugar now people are like me drinking Coke Zero with no sugar. So sugar's not used by a lot of people. The price of sugar fell. The sugar factory shut down. And hundreds, hundreds of people lost their job that used to work here. If you used to work here, please let me know that you used to work here in Libertad. What was this? Please tell me, what was this building? Let me know in the comments. Here's one more building. I can take a peek. Yeah, I'll be right there. <laughs> Where are you, Murray? You just saw me blowing the horn. This looks like it was some kind of a office at one time. Definitely an office. A little window there. people come drinking rum in this place. Guys, if you worked here, you know somebody who worked here, the boss's houses, if you know anything, please leave me a comment and give us some information of this place. Please do it. Let me show you this room here. Let me show you this room. Maybe one of your relatives worked in here. Maybe they did. Let me know. Oh, that's a bulletin board. Huh. Wow. Let me do something. Give me a second. Guys, I have to do something crazy. The bulletin board. I left my card there. I was there. So that's it. I am out of the factory. The old abandoned sugar factory, alive. I didn't get bit by snakes. I didn't get attacked by homeless. I could see people are sleeping in there, but they're probably during the day out hustling. And everything went well. A Volkswagen is right there. Where are you, Maria? She's probably mad by now, sweating. 
Anyway, guys, leave me some comments. I know a lot of you guys were in there. A lot of you guys spent a lot of your life in there. Let me know about it. Fill me in some details on the comment section. Like the video, share with your friends. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.